Wow, it sounds like you guys had an amazing sighting of those two bulls. And little Antima, it looks like she's on her own this afternoon. She keeps looking up. I keep saying she. When we're not really sure if it's a male or female. It's very difficult to tell the sex of a hyena and, until you start seeing them interacting with other hyenas once they get a bit older. But uh, I think judging by her character, it's very likely that she's a female. I think perhaps she's quite bold. See, there I go again. She. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, how her life pans out as she gets older and we can confirm if she is a female. The most obvious way is obviously if she has cubs. But, uh, she keeps looking over to the uh, the west. But uh, there's some frankens as I say just down down to the east of her. So, scratching around so you can see she's got one ear actually pointing towards them I don't know if we're able to see because the, the females uh, Franklin's actually just poking her head up over the branch can you see her <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna can we can we have a look at her show everybody I can see the movement of the grass where the uh, Franklin are actually scratching around for food I'll so say that one yeah just in there but there's the other one that's just, uh, if you follow the branch up, and she was just poking her head out over the top of that. <laughs> they, they do actually make quite a, a lot of noise. <laughs> so I wonder if anyone got our bird that was calling. Ah! Perfect. Eric and Linda, the Jersey lady. Well done. Bragging rights for you. The Cape Turtle Dove, it was indeed. Nice easy one this afternoon. So we have had a, a, um, a drive around to the back of the termite mound. We couldn't see the females. Uh, so we couldn't see Gwen and we couldn't see an, and Tima's mother Ribbon. I think one of them came into camp last night and stole our bin. <laughs> and they, they they knew we were out. <laughs> so we went and had a, a braai at the braai site for one of our staff whose birthday it was. In in Senchu, I um, I just wanted to make sure I could pronounce the name correctly. In Senchu, it was her birthday yesterday, so we uh, had a surprise. In Senchu, <laughs> so hopefully she's listening. So we uh, had a surprise bri for her, and obviously during that time the hyenas realised that we weren't there. <laughs> so one of the females came in and stole the bin. Luckily there wasn't much in there, but uh, it was quite a surprise when we came back. Always watching, and it's just it's amazing how intelligent these hyenas actually are, and they just they really will push those boundaries if you give them an inch, they will definitely take the mile and more, so you have to be very careful, and they know I say I had I got woken up by the females searching around the camp, and uh, I had to tell her off and chase her out. little one are we gonna leave you to it shame there's no no little mates at the moment to play with but once the little ones do grow up they might have a bit of a play hi Riti Riti wanting to know what animals could come into the room at night and yeah if you leave your door open hyenas have been known to go into people's rooms and occasionally if people are sleeping they have been known to uh, actually pick them up and take them away uh, so you do have to you know sort of keep your respect for the bush um, leopards we've even heard of a leopard uh, who used to den in one of the lodges in the garage and around the lodge 
Oh, look at that. You can see those paws with the claws out, just like a dog. Not as large as the leopard claws that we saw when uh, the cub was actually feeding on the buffalo, even at that age. Actually, they're probably about the same age. And so is the cub. So there you go. You can see the size difference of the claws there. So I think we're going to leave Antima to her devices and head back towards the lions. And in the meantime, I think we're going to see how Tristan's getting on with his two friends in the